Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon on the PlayStation Network. The last time, we made it through the Death City of Mayfield, taking on um, the Divine Dragon's spirit, and we also came across the spirit of Levitz, who was apparently being held captive by a demon. And so we freed him, and now we're about to go to the point of no return for the game, where we can go face the final boss and a whole bunch more bosses actually so yeah we still got a fair amount to do uh, but first um, I went ahead and grinded up everyone's editions uh, the only th ones I haven't grinded up are Maru's and Hashel's ultimate editions but everyone else is at max and Maru and Hashel actually have their final edition unlocked however I said that I would show off uh, Maru's second to last edition the uh, cool boogie before we actually went anywhere so here it is right here and as you can see it's all sorts of funky and on a scale of one to there's no way in hell I could do that it's about a 12 so yeah that just doesn't happen so that's why she has the hammer or the uh, ultimate war god well pretty much everyone's gonna have ultimate war god now cuz hey that's what I feel like doing and also we finally get uh, Kongu up to Dragoon level 5 so what do you say we check out his Dragoon f uh, gold dragon spell and I went ahead and turned off all the animations for the for the uh, dragoons because eh, we've seen them all billion trillion times now, so we're fine. Okay, yeah, uh, golden dragon, earth strength, seventy five percent, everybody. So let's check it out. I'm gonna tell you right now, it looks like a tank. Literally, it looks like a tank. The dragon. At least that's what I always thought. Seriously, is a tank. A tank that causes a sinkhole. I like the sinkhole part. I just don't think a dragon should look like a, uh, well, a tank. And yeah, it's not going to do a whole lot of damage to that guy, mainly because he has power up, and, uh, I'm not sure, but I think he might have pretty good magical defense. No, he has pretty crappy magical defense. So I guess it's just because Hashel has, well, you know, absolutely horrid magic attack. Ah, oh, well. Alright, let's, uh, get my party going forward now. Let's see, I'm going to switch out Congo for Hashel, since we need his addition to be leveled up. And Maru, you're going to stay there, but you need your other addition. So. There we go. Perky step. Uh, this actually this actually ends up with the highest modifier in the game at 600%. Um, the, the two below that are Hashel. His will end up at a, either 500% or 501%. I don't remember, but it's pretty good. And Rose is also at 500%. Uh, let's see. As for the next highest I do believe it's start at 450 and then it goes uh, Albert at 405 and then finally Congo at a whole 300% so yeah the person with the highest attack has the lowest attack multiplier and the person with the lowest attack has the highest attack multiplier but because Maru gets so many damn turns per turn then or turns per round because we're high speed she ends up doing a whole ton of damage whereas Congo's really slow and he only pulls off his big numbers every couple turns or every couple rounds, so Maru will end up doing a ton of damage with uh, Perky Step once it's mecked out. So she will be doing fantastic. Congo, not so much. Um, I probably will end up with Maru and Albert as my final party members, simply for the fact that they have a good combination of offense and defense. Maru has healing. Uh, Albert has the Rose Storm. I might switch in Hashel every once in a while just for that powerful. Um, just for that powerful addition of his that he's got. Plus his uh, non-element, his uh, thunder damage, which is resist not resisted or eff effective against everybody. So it works out pretty well, but I probably won't be using, I probably won't be using Congo that much since he's only pure damage and he's slow. I might use Rose every once in a while, but probably not. Every once in a while, if I really feel like just nuking the enemy, I'll switch in uh, Miranda so her and Maru can just utterly obliterate the enemies with uh, spells and stuff. 
but that'll only happen every once in a while. Okay, so this little glowing beam of light, as soon as you step in and press X, you are going to the point of no return, and you cannot get your happy little butt back down to the overworld down here. So if you are if you haven't done anything such as fight the drag dragoon spirits, uh, fight the dragon spirits, fight Faust, um, fight the poltergeist, all sorts of that stuff right there, uh, then you might want to, you know, like stay down here. I'm personally going to end up with a second save file. That way, if I do forget anything, I can still dick around down here. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. Um, I I got that I got that halberd for for Albert, and it's actually pretty powerful. Like uh, 200 to 12, and then his one below that is 203, so it's uh, eight points more powerful. Let's see. I don't think it has any special effects. Yeah, and I was actually wrong. Apparently, it, apparently it does. It is sold um, in the point of no return for I think 500 gold. And it actually took me like five tries to get it from the Zack Will boss. But I think it's worth it, simply for the fact that you have more attack power for fighting the optional bosses if you haven't fought them yet. And plus, I forget when the shop shows up, so you'll still have a little bit of extra power for Albert if you're using him before you actually get there. So that works out pretty well. But anyways, enough screwing around, what do you say we head on up? And I think Rose actually tells you yes, it's the point of no return. Well, it's safer now. Yeah, she actually tells you, hey, you want to go up there? You can't do anything else down here, so make a separate save file. Which I will be doing. Alright, let's go. What do you know? They give us treasure right off the bat. How nice of them. I don't think they'd be that nice. Sorry, I was uh, checking something, and apparently I can't carry any more items. Oh, that's right. I got a shit ton of, like, uh, mind stuff and crap. Or, like, uh... Yeah, they gave me a bunch of mind purifiers. Um, okay, I don't care about these. You know, now that I think about it, I'm probably going to end up selling uh, this smoke ball right here, the 100% sure escape, since I never use the damn thing. Um, everything else has use, but the smoke ball, I never, ever use it. If I get in a fight, I'm gonna stick it out until the bitter end, whether I lose or they lose. So, I'm probably just gonna sell it. I mean, it, it'll kinda irritate me that I won't have uh, every last repeatable item in my inventory, but I'll know that I've got it at least. That helps, I guess. Ooh, Spectral Flash. Very nice. Yeah, then again, I might not throw it away. I might just keep it just for the just for the heck of it. Okay, how come the Oh, never mind. Oh, so he hasn't got to it yet, which is kind of weird. So, if that's taken away, we have to fight pretty much like the all-powerful creator and stuff like that. Gee, I wonder who the final boss is going to be. Actually, it's not going to be the uh, person you think it is. It's not going to be God or whatever. And here comes Dedios to ruin our thunder. It's peaceful here trying to kill everybody. What? Oh, I I was like, why is he turning into a dragoon here? That's a pretty effective way to just rebuff your son.
but that was fast. Crap. Well, humans are small and insignificant, and uh, gods are big and a little more significant. Well, depending on your religion, but technically they should be a little more powerful than us, so they probably have a bit more say in what happens than we do. So, he's got the first three things, and now he needs Shauna, but he kind of already has Shauna, so that kind of sucks. There's probably a teleporter hidden somewhere around here. Or Kulon is up here. How he got up here, I don't really know. Oh, wait, we're still on Mayfield, never mind. Okay, yeah. Now he takes us to the moon. Why he couldn't fly to the Death City of Mayfield earlier? I don't know. Why we had to take a teleporter? I don't know. But he's apparently strong enough to fly there now, and apparently good enough to fly us to the moon. So, I think he was just bullshitting us earlier. Well, that's a whole lot of barrages. I mean, we beat, what, two or three? I don't think we really have it in us to beat that many more. And yeah, that, apparently this is why we can't go back anymore, because uh, Kulon appears to be dead, I think. Unless I'm seeing something different here. I think we're standing on a dead Kulon right here. And by the way, either that tree is really, 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 really big, 
or that moon is really, 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 really small. I'm thinking it's gonna be the moon is really small. Cause, okay, I forget how big our moon is, but it's what, the quarter of the size of the Earth, maybe a little smaller? I don't remember the exact specifics, but either way, that's still pretty damn big, and if that tried to come down to the Earth, that would take up a very sizable chunk of the land. Well, it appeared to have set here, on the uh, divine tree. Damn, that thing spit out a lot of farages. All right, there's my separate save file. That way, if I want to go dick around in the uh, main overworld, I can. Not that I probably will, but it's there if we want it. Okay, I'm, I'm really not sure if that's a dead coulon or if it's just the uh, the way the uh, atmosphere looks. I'm just going to assume that it's a dead coulon. What is that sparkly thing right there? Oh. It's a phoenix plume. There we go. Yeah, that kind of hit in there for you. Let's see if we got any enemies around here that are worth mentioning. Actually, there is one that has a chance to drop a uh, dancer's shoes after battle, but it's one of those rare drops, like the 2% drops. So we might not ever get them. Alright. Who do we got here? We got... Ooh, we got the cute cat. The cute cat right here. Uh, Thunder Elemental, um, 704 HP. She has a 2% chance to drop the Dancer's Shoes after battle. So if you wanted, you could pimp out all your girls with Dancer's Shoes. Um, she occasionally evades attacks. Uh, she has a chance of bewitching one ally. She has a chance of er uh, instantly killing one ally. And she also charges up an attack and then and then uh, pulls it off the next turn for all or nothing attack pretty much. So she's mildly irritating, but the rewards are worth it. Um, and as for as for the Manticore, Earth Elemental, 900 to 60 HP, uh, drops a uh, drops a uh, Depetrifier after battle. He occasionally tries to fear you. He also has a charged up attack. He has a magic attack, I think non-elemental, that attacks everybody. And he has a Petrified attack. So he's kind of a little bastard. All right, good. We're actually hitting our targets here. And I never changed. Wait, I don't think I ever changed to my ultimate edition for a shell. And wow, that is one groovy little step you got going on there, Maru. I'll be honest. I've never actually gotten uh, most of the characters' final editions because, well. I stuck to the editions and I didn't have the money or the patience to go after the uh, final editions. So that was my first time seeing that pretty step and that's... It's something. I'll, I'll give you that much. Ooh, Albert got a level up. Very nice. Yeah, it took, it took uh, Congo a little while to reach Dragoon level 5, because he was still at Dragoon level 3 when I finished off the episode last time, I think. So he had to earn a shit ton of frickin' uh, SP. And his his maximum um, SP gain is 100 from his ultimate uh, edition. So that kind of took forever. Let's see. Who has my... Oh, there you go. You have my dancer shoes. And I don't have anything to... Crap. I don't have any more boots to give you? Well, that sucks. Um... Well, that kind of sucks. Oh, well. I'll hopefully, I'll hopefully get some uh, shoes here in a minute here. I'm going to run around and see if I can't find some more enemies. See if I can't get some uh, good luck here. Not counting on it, but hey, it could happen. Okay, just more, uh, more of these chumps. Anyways, let's see if we can't find Owl Hash Shell's Ultimate Edition, looks like. Yeah, I think this is a fear attack right there, since we got all the, uh, blue skulls going on. She goes all over the place with that. 
Quirky step. Oh, and I still have her. Um, I still have her pretty hammer on. I need. To, I need to get her heavy mace on. That doesn't look that bad, actually. It looks okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Dart, you go to guard. Actually, the fear kind of works out for Ashel, since that means he won't kill enemies as quickly, and therefore he will be able to uh, keep his. Uh, it'll take him double the double the hits to kill the enemies. So that means he gets more chances to use his addition to get more uses out of it. So that helps out pretty well. Uh, I was hoping he wasn't going to fear everybody. Oh, but Dart's uh, guarding, so Dart's not going to be confused. That helps. All right, Dart, screw it. These guys look kind of like a uh, Chimeras, except you know the scorpion tails and the bat tail. Wait, why did that do 222? Unless I really misread that. It should be like 300, I think. For the uh, for the um, SP, not the damage. Yeah, I was probably misreading it. Ooh, good experience over here. All right, um, let me get my heavy mace on Maru then. And you guys are still feared. Excellent. And by excellent, I mean not excellent. I could have swore the... Eh, for some reason I thought the Brass Knuckle had a higher attack than the Thunder Fist. But, I guess not. Let's see. Oh, there we go. I was going to get rid of uh, two of my Mind Fear Fires and only have one left, but I guess it's a good thing I didn't, because, well, I got screwed in that battle. Hey, more sparkly stuff. So we all came from little seeds. Well, I guess we did, yeah. Yeah, it's a legend, so it's probably true. That's the thing about video games. If it's a legend, it's either true or it's gonna come true. You don't really hear about you don't really hear about legends that like never happened or won't happen. Is that kind of? Is that kind of? defeats the purpose of them being legends in the first place since, well, they're bound to happen. Right, let me see if I can't find a good enemy in here. Ooh, ooh, just pretty kitties. And I believe these are the mountain apes right here. Yeah, mountain apes. Uh, let's see. Earth Elemental, 1,000 HP. Uh, they drop Angel Purifier, Angel Prayers after battles. Uh, they use Power Up every once in a while, and that's pretty much it. So they're pretty, uh, they're pretty vanilla. They don't got a whole lot going around, going on with them, except for missing all my attacks. I do like their attack, though. I like how they use a log and slam it on our heads. I like that. Plus, I got the little Mohawks going on. Okay, why am I getting 222 SP? It's kind of weird. I know I'm using the Fairy Sword, which gives you more SP, but why am I getting a weird amount? Straight off. 
Oh, I was hoping he would drop his log before we, when he killed him. Eh, I guess not. Okay, yeah, that's one funky looking dance she's got going on. Ooh, but I think... Uh, I was gonna say, I thought the, uh... Yeah, the Heavy Mace does have a chance to stun the enemy. So that helps out pretty good. And I probably should have had Dark guarded, but oh well. Oh, I was hoping for the dancer shoes. Oh well. I might go farm those off screen in between this episode and the next. Or I might just say screw it. Okay, Dark, why are you doing 222? Oh, that's right. Um, never mind. I'm, I was. Okay. I know what it was. Yeah, look how many Soul Eaters I got from those enemies right there. I even sold one of them, so they dropped three of them. So a lot of soul eaters. Yeah, I fright, that's what it was. Uh, Fifty percent, not a, not double. I think um, I think the pretty hammer gives double. Yeah, so that's what it was. So that's why it's giving a weird amount. See anything up here? No. Okay, we can't even go up there. So, hey, more water. The fruit was shed by a fish, like a, I mean, like a second skin or something. It's a shame these aren't like healing points, but oh well. And I've said it before, but I'm pretty sure there's more than a hundred and eight species, unless they're not counting stuff like ants or mosquitoes or mice or other stuff like that, but I'm pretty sure there's more than a hundred species on the damn planet. Anyways, these guys are slugs, uh, 1200 HP, uh, they drop mind purifiers after battle, and they have a single target earth elemental attack. So, not really a whole lot here. Pretty easy, actually. And they're not really strong against magical or physical attacks, so just well on with what you got. I do like the way these guys look, though. I don't know why, but I just like their design. Yeah, Heshel's uh, Omni Sweep does do pretty good damage. I'll, g I'll give it that much. Nope, don't kill me. Ow. Okay, uh, we're going to speed up Maru. That way she can get a few turns of healing in real quick. And I guess we're going to uh, get that guy paused. So you speed him down. Yeah, there we go, it works. Speed him down, and then after that we'll six him. That way Maru has plenty of turn for keeping herself fresh. There goes the speed up. Uh, let's see. I was thinking about using the Soul Eater with the um, Ultimate War God, but the problem with that is it takes off 10% of your HP, right? So, you're thinking, okay, that's not too bad, I'll just guard to get the 10% HP back. But, as soon as you take damage or do something besides guard, then all of a sudden, you can't ever get back up to full HP just by, uh, just by guarding. So, it might be good for, like, uh, random battles, or, or boss battles, but if you're trying to, like, heal your HP in between, like, boss fights or whatever, it's probably better to just stick with, like, the Fairy Sword, I mean... You get the better SP out of the Fairy Sword, and it still has pretty decent damage. I mean, you're still going to do a fat chunk of damage with it, so... I think I just prefer the Fairy Sword in general. I would like the Pretty Hammer if it had more, uh... More attack power, but... Oh, well. Hey, 
Now, Shell gets a pretty good weapon later in the game. It's one of the weapons that a lot of people like, and I kind of don't like. It has one of those uh, inverse power effects where if you have a low HP, the power of the weapon is stronger or something like that. So if you're in, like, single-digit HP, you do a ton of damage. But I've never liked that kind of stuff. I've never... I've always just preferred to keep my HP high and do damage that way. So some people love it since you can get mega damage out of it. But some people, like me, just kind of don't love it. Alright, we only have, I think, like, I th think like one or two more enemies to show off in here. And this is not it, but hopefully we get those shoes out of this because Maru needs a new pair of shoes. Don't you dare poison me. Ah, you feared me, you son of a bitch. Alright, let's get rid of the kitty cat. Who looks more like a ninja cat than anything. Or like a ninja dressed up as a cat. I think that's what it is. You have that or I'm blind. Well, you don't really get that good of a view, but yeah. I think it's just a ninja cosplaying as a kitty cat. Which is fine. Everyone, everyone has their fetishes. A lot of people like cat girls. I mean, I think they're okay. They're nothing great. You give me a girl with big boobs, I'm happy. I don't care if they dress up or, or goth. Or, actually, goth chicks are pretty hot. Um, but I don't care if they dress up or do other weird stuff. Just big boobs makes me happy. Dressing up as kitties, but I really don't care for that part. I, don't, I guess I don't really like the outfit thing going going on. Like dressing up as a schoolgirl, that can be that can be hot sometimes. But like dressing up as a nurse, yeah. Dressing up as because if you actually like seeing what nurses wear at hospitals, that's not really all that like uh, sex appealing. So if they actually showed like a porno or something where the chick was walking around in scrubs and then she goes and begs the doctor or whatever. People would be like, yeah, this is, uh... Okay, I'll change you the channel now. So... I guess that's why they don't do it like that. And I didn't want to de-petrify her. I wanted, I wanted, uh... Dancer's shoes. I mainly, I mainly just want one pair so I can give, uh... So I can give, um... Maru and, uh, Miranda them. But, oh well. What do you mean, a vital force? Ah, okay, so it's like it's a uh, amniotic fluid or something like that right there? Or embryotic fluid or whatever the shit's called? So we're gonna dip ourselves in, uh, in womb juice. I suppose. I'm surprised it didn't show us going up. And of course, Kongo decides he doesn't want to be in the cutscene. Unless he comes up last, which I don't think he does. Oh, there he goes. Well, what do you know? He does. And look, it's a caterpillar. He's cute. Ooh, so the elevator gave us a uh, full health. Okay, so because the tree's trying to destroy the world, it feels the urge to give full health, which helps, I guess. Congo, you always got to make an entrance, don't you? Well, it appears to be a caterpillar. Oh, unless you're... Oh, okay, I wasn't sure if they were talking about the caterpillar. Congo, you woke, the, you woke the poor little bug up, you bastard. He was having a good nap, but you and your ton of fun decided to interrupt that. Oh, well. He'll live. Okay, what is this sparkly thing? 
Ooh, we got the white silver dragon's armor for Miranda. That's pretty nice. Um, I don't remember if it has any good effects besides obviously uh, nullifying light damage, but I don't remember if it has anything else. Let's see. We got. Let's see. Ooh, it's got a pretty good uh, defense boost. What is your defense at right now? 85 and 245 versus 83. Ooh, that gives a fat magic defense boost. Um, yeah, we'll put that on. Let's see, is there anything else better though? Uh, it gives higher physical attack hitting. Oh, evading, okay. Uh, getting SP, I don't care. Robe, no. I guess this is pretty good because you avoid status effects, but I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, I guess she'll stick with the uh, Dragoon armor. Let's see, can we go back down? I don't think we can go back down. Oh well. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can uh, run into all the other enemies around here, so it's not going to really matter. And look, here's a free healing point, so very nice. Okay, let me make sure we can still run into those enemies here. Okay, maybe we can't. Oh well. We might not. We might. We might not just be able to run into them here. We might be able to run into them later. I don't remember actually. I don't get why it keeps panning up to the top of the screen. Ooh, what's this? Yeah, so you're gonna give birth to the ultimate species uh, while destroying all the minor species? Is that what's happening? Even though winglies and humans and dragons and the original barrages are all pretty accomplished, I'd have to say. I don't think they really want to die. Okay, good. We can still run into all the important guys out here. Alright, after this I'm probably going to start cutting out these battles since I keep forgetting. And you just had to fear Hashel, didn't you? You know what? Screw it. Actually, you know what? Dark can use the uh, psychedelic bomb. He has a decent magic set. It's not great, but it's tolerable. It'll certainly do more damage than if uh, Kongo tried to use it. Ooh, she's stunned. That helps. Let's see. Let's uh, power this bad boy up. It really is pretty damn psychedelic. It's like somebody opened a bag of... It's like somebody put a, a bomb in a bag of Skittles. Or Fruit Loops. I like Fruit Loops. I think I like Apple Jacks better, though. Even though they taste nothing like Apple, obviously. And you're never going to give me those damn shoes, are you? Yeah, I guess Apple Jacks have like that uh, kind of like cinnamony flavor, I think. Actually, it's been a while since I had Apple Jacks. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I had like a slight cinnamon flavor. Ooh, but what else we got? We got a save point. So, I think this is actually a pretty good st uh, spot to end off the episode here. So, next time, we're going to go ahead and continue exploring the Divine Tree. And hopefully make it to some bosses. If not, oh well. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good night.